do y'all think we live for y'all? Like, why do y'all think that we trying to please y'all and we're out here trying to like be holy for a man? What is a man to keep nowadays? You know when people say if you're super attractive, that's the reason that you're single? It's true, and I will tell you my own personal experience with that. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. The reason why so many women are treating dating like a hustle and are only out for monetary gain and luxury experiences is because when situationships became a thing, that really dehumanized dating and it became an emotionally unfulfilling experience for women. So if you're going to waste my time, I might as well gain something. Most modern women now see dating as a side hustle where the man has to invest in them, even if he has little or nothing to gain. They say they don't want to waste their time, but when we look closer, we may find out that they spent all their time chasing Chad. After he has dumped and disappointed them, they now feel all men are the same. Men are actually tired of trying to meet delusional expectations and expensive first date standards. They are tired of chasing women who aren't interested in genuine connection. Men are stepping back from dating because it feels like a one-sided investment. Why should a man put in all the effort and money if the relationship isn't based on mutual respect and interest. It's not surprising that more men are choosing to focus on their own lives and personal growth instead of chasing women who don't appreciate them. Modern dating has become a game of high stakes for men, where the reward often doesn't match the investment. Men are realizing that they deserve better than to be seen as just providers or a means to an end. They want partners who value them for who they are, not for what they can give. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, we will be exploring reasons why men aren't chasing women anymore. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into this topic together. You know when people say if you're super attractive, that's the reason that you're single? It's true, and I will tell you my own personal experience with that. I'm, let's just say, conventionally attractive enough. You know, I'm not some like 10 out of 10, but I'm like fine, I'm just fine. And that makes me super approachable. I get approached by the opposite sex all of the time. I literally sat down for two seconds in Times Square today and a man came over, sat down next to me and just struck up a conversation by people that I necessarily would seek out on my own. No, but I'm still approached. So my pool widens if I so chose to pursue that route. But I'm pretty, pretty sure if you're like super, super, super attractive, no one's gonna approach you because the rate of them getting denied immediately is so much higher. Me, I'm gonna sit there and talk with you. Do I want to all the time? No, I'm gonna do it. So it's a safe, I'm a safe bet with this fake. Here, we have her sharing her opinion on why she feels men wouldn't chase beautiful women. It's quite ironic because, in a normal setting, men naturally gravitate towards beautiful and attractive women. However, maybe due to the overwhelming attention these women receive, they are quick to label men negatively. The interesting part of the clip was when she mentioned that she does get approached, but doesn't want to be approached all the time. She expects men to somehow read her mind and understand when it's okay to approach and when it's not. This expectation can be quite confusing for men. Men don't want to approach women because their efforts are less appreciated and go in vain in most cases. It's all about finding that balance and respecting each other's boundaries and preferences. Do you think I'm trying to live for a man and find a good man at 24? I'm not. So like down the road when I'm a little older and I'm ready to settle down and I'm so done with my down business. Down the road when you've had sex with more men, you've hurt your value, uh -huh. you've been yeah, to more dick, you've yeah. said more you've done yeah. more promiscuous things, yeah. you think that's going to make you more attractive to a man that's going yes. to want to take you seriously? Yeah, because I'm not a low-value woman, so... <laughs> the answer is no. You actually are significantly reducing your value the more people you have sex with and the older you become. And but do y'all think that, we live for y'all? Like, why do y'all think that we trying to please y'all and we're out here trying to, like, be holy for a man? What is a man to keep nowadays? Okay, well, you don't have to keep a man, but we know that typically a woman gets the most satisfaction from having a man long term, having a family mm -hmm. with that man. Women typically value relationships more than men do because women are more interested in people, men are more interested in things. So you can say this now because you're 24 and you still have options, but as you get older, I promise you when you're 34, you're not going to have the same mindset. It's interesting to hear her claim that spending her 20s chasing Chad makes her a high value lady. Honestly, it's pretty hilarious. She made it clear that they don't need men, 
but as soon as they hit their 30s, you'll see a shift. When they start feeling the pressure of getting older, they begin making videos asking where all the good men have gone and why no one is approaching them anymore. It's funny how the narrative changes. In their 20s, it's all about independence and not needing a man. But as the years go by, the realization sets in. And suddenly, they're wondering why they can't find a decent guy. The irony is hard to miss, and it just goes to show how perspectives can change over time. What's your expectation? Princess treatment. Princess treatment. Yeah, I'm not too hard okay. to deal with. All right. Like I said, the frequent dates, the going out to eat, the romantic surprises, occasionally like the flowers, you know, like making sure everything is good in the house, like if I need anything. Sure. Um, not too much. Question for you on that. So if that's what's expected of the guy, what's expected of you? Oh. I don't know. I never... <laughs> I was once in a relationship where my boyfriend would go on Instagram every single day, spend hours on Instagram, watch all of my stories, but he would go weeks without liking or commenting on any of my Instagram posts. So naturally I confronted him about it, like, is there a problem? You are not liking anything I post, but you are watching all my stories. And he tells me that he just forgets to like and comment all of my posts for weeks, for literally weeks. Okay, but when he's single, he doesn't forget to like or comment on any girls' posts. I'm not sure to look at that. That was one of the first things I looked at right after we broke up. The moral of the story is if something isn't right and you feel that something is off, it probably is. And their explanation is probably just gonna be a lie. Because a lot, they know exactly what they're doing. So if they're not doing something, it's for a reason. Social media is a big issue for many modern ladies. They often compare their relationships to what they see online, which isn't always realistic. They expect their partners to match up to these idealized standards without considering their own contributions. It's all about what the man should do and offer, but they don't think much about what they bring to the table. If her boyfriend doesn't react to her post, it doesn't mean he doesn't like her or that he has something bad in mind. She just took it too personally. Relationships are about mutual respect and understanding, not about living up to the highlights we see online. Social media can be fun, but it shouldn't dictate how we perceive our relationships. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you, like, fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% a bear, which is, like, terrifying to say, but... Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. But I was struggling to bring my TV, well, fit it into my car. It was in a big box. It's a 55 inch. It could barely fit into this car. I'm sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. You see, there's a reason for that. Decades ago, you wouldn't have needed help. The men would have done it for you. The thing is, the world has changed. Women have changed. Now see, something I tend to do a lot. I tend to imagine, what if I was a man? What would I be doing today? Would I help women? Truthfully, when I think about it, no, absolutely not. Even if my instinct as a man is leaning towards chivalry, I'm not gonna help. There's a number of reasons for that. A lot of times, when men are doing nothing wrong, they end up on the internet because the wind blew something into their eye and they might have winked and someone filmed it. And then you end up on TikTok as some kind of perv because you were winking at a woman. The answer to her question was actually in the first clip. The ladies mentioned they would prefer a bear to a man, which explains why no man came to help her. These days, approaching a lady can be risky. Men are worried about being labeled wrongly or misunderstood. It's a sensitive time, and many men prefer to stay cautious rather than risk getting into trouble. They said they needed freedom and independence, so men gave them. There's no need complaining now, it's what they always wanted. On Quora, someone asked a question that reads, why don't men chase women anymore when they're only told no once? This question got lots of responses, which I'm going to be sharing soon, and I will also like to get yours in the comments. The first reads, because reasonable men do not believe that women who say no are lying. 
They believe their no is honest, and they respect it. Persisting after someone says no is profoundly disrespectful. People who say no when they mean yes are profoundly dishonest and foolish. We got another that reads, and women's magazines routinely thought that women like to be chased. Well, if you like a man and you say no to him, if he chases you, it's romantic. If he doesn't, then he is not a real man. If you don't like him and if he chases you, he is a CRP. Better be honest right away. The last one that I will be sharing reads, because the era in which women played hard to get, or men thought they did, is over. No means no. Pursuing a woman who has told you no is going to first irritate her, then frighten her. The next step is a restraining order, then charges of stalking. You'll lose your job and could end up on the sex offenders list. It's not worth it. This will be all for today. What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.